Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video comparing Python and Ruby syntax. In today's video, we're going to be talking about lists, so Python lists, and which basically are dynamic arrays. So to create a list in Python, you can use list literals, or basically these brackets, or you can use the list constructor. And if we convert it to Ruby, you see that in Ruby, the list literals are the same, but in Ruby, the Python list is called an array. And you know that makes sense because it's a dynamic array. And instead of these uh, parentheses, you have to include the dot new. Uh, you could include these parentheses, but they're not necessary when you're just using a constructor like so. Uh, you can also uh, initialize a list with some values. So let's say 10, 9, 8, uh, 1, 2, 3. And in Ruby, it's exactly the same. So now let's talk about modifying the list using methods. Python, Python's built-in list has several methods that allow you to modify the, the list. And let's say we wanted to add an element to the end of the list. We can just call append and add 100. And another way to add to the list is by specific index, right, by the position. So in Python, this is insert. It takes in two parameters. You have your index. So let's insert it at index zero, which is the front of the list, and our value. So let's put in negative 100. And if we print our list, let's see. We see negative 100 has been inserted at index zero, and 100, we append that to the end of the list. Um, if we convert this to Ruby, we see that append is push, but insert remains the same. Another thing we could do is concatenate our list. So concatenation basically means adding two lists to form another list or taking values from one list and placing them all into another list. So in this case, let's say if we had list three is zero and negative one, we can take list and extend uh, list three. So we take this and run it we get zero, negative one, which are the values from list three. Another way to do it is uh, using this plus equal uh, uh, list plus equal list three. So if I come this out and run it, uh, oops, list three, sorry, we get the same, right? Zero, negative one from list three is extended to list and then if we convert it to Ruby, you see that extend is concat, right? short for concatenate the list. And uh, yeah, so that's adding values to the list. Now let's talk about removing values. So to remove from the end of the list, you just call pop. If you want to remove a specific value, you can call remove and pass in that value. So let's say we want to remove one. And if you want to remove from a specific index, then you call pop again, but you pass in an index. So let's uh, remove from index one. So, so this should get rid of nine. All right, so after we pop, we pop from the end, so three is gone. Remove one, so this is removed by value, so this one is gone. And then pop, pop one, so this pop at index, so this nine is gone. So if we take this, run it, we see that we have 10, 8, 2. So the 3 is gone, the 1 is gone, and the 9 is gone. And if we convert this to Ruby, you see that pop is the same. However, when it comes to removing uh, at a specific index or a specific value, you have to call it delete. So delete deletes a specific value from the list, and delete at deletes a value at a specific index. Okay, so that's delete and delete at. Um, so let's just copy and paste this and make sure it works. All right, so 1082, 1082. And finally, if you want to clear the list, you just call list.clear. And it's the same thing in Ruby. So if I take this, now we get an empty array. Okay, so that's removing from the list. Um, now let's talk about other modifications like reversing and sorting. Um, let's talk about sorting. 
if we were to uh, sort this, it's just list.sort. And in Ruby, it's quite peculiar because you have this uh, exclamation point, which is kind of like almost uh, commanding it. It's like list.sort, you know, it's like sort, you know, it's like commanding it. And so we print the list and then why don't we reverse it as well. You see that reverse is also the same. It has that exclamation mark. So that's that might be something uh, difficult to remember uh, and adjust to. So in Python, if we run this, we sort it. We get 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10. And then we reverse it. So we get 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, 1. If we do the same here. Run it. And same thing. OK. And um, in Python, when you sort, uh, it only modifies list, but it does not return it. So it just does it in place. If you want it a sorted copy of the list, you can do uh, list2. Let's say uh, we'll pass it into a sorted function, just like so, and you pass in the list. So what this does is it gives you a sorted copy of the list. So now, if we do list.append, uh, let's say a thousand, and we print both list and list two, you see that only um, uh, only uh, list two is sorted, right? Because we passed in a we passed it into the sorted function. List is not sorted itself. If we want to replicate this in Ruby, it's list.sort. So it's a method in Ruby, and it's without the exclamation mark. So if we take this, run it, we get the same thing. Right? So 10, 9, 8, 1, 2, 3, 1,000. 10, 9, 8, 1, 2, 3, 1,000. So the original list is not sorted, but the copy it returns is sorted. And if instead of doing this, I did this, then it, it, it sorts the list and returns a copy of itself. So it's the same reference. So that's why list and list2 will point to the same list object. So any modification through one variable will affect the other. OK, so sorted function in Python will equal list.sort with parentheses in Ruby. All right, and um, uh, what else do we have? Oh, and if, let's say we wanted to count an instance. So let's add some ones here. Uh, let's say we wanted to see how many ones are in the list. So we'll just call list.count1. And it's exactly the same in uh, Ruby. So we printed this. We will get three. These are three ones in here. And uh, for Ruby, we get three as well. Right? And then Finally, so that's all the methods. Oh, so now let's talk about uh, indices. So as you already know, this is index zero, this is index one, two, three, and so on. So we were to print uh, index, let's say three, then we should expect this one, right? And if we, uh, let's take index one, we should expect nine. So we should expect nine, one. So it's the exact same for indexing, you get 9, 1. And in Ruby, you also get 9, 1. Uh, if you want to find uh, uh, the index of a specific value, then it's simply list.index. Let's say I don't know where uh, 8 appears in the list, so I pass in 8. It will be find index in Ruby. So if we take this and run it, we get index two, right? Two, index two. And in Ruby, index two as well. Okay? We can also take a slice, so it's an index range. So if we wanted to print all the values from index one to, let's say, uh, five, so why don't we do that? In Ruby, uh, the syntax is instead of a colon, you have two dots. So it's kind of like one is uh, vertical and the other is horizontal. If we take this and run it, 
we get 9812 and 9823. So in uh, in the Ruby, so in Python, this is uh, exclusive, so it stops at five. Whereas Ruby, this five is inclusive. So if you want to change that, you would have to change this to a four. So we change this to a four, and we get 9812. All right, and um, you can also do some uh, modifications to the list using these slices. So let's say from one to five, we want to change this to uh, 100, 200, 300, 400. And remember in Ruby, it has to be four. So let's just remove that by one. And then let's print our list. Over here, we'll print our list as well. Let's get rid of that. I copy and paste this you see that from index 1 to 5 but not including 5 we've changed the values to 100 200 300 400 and if with Ruby we see that the exact same modification has been applied all right so that's uh, all the uh, Python list and Ruby arrays and the methods and indexing this concatenation and yeah that's basically it i'll see you in the next video bye